गाइज अगर आप अकोमोडेशन ढूंढ रहे हैं चीप एंड अफोर्डेबल रेट पे और सारी फैसिलिटीज इंक्लूड हों तो लुक नो फर्दर डिस्क्रिप्शन में और कॉमेंट सेक्शन में एक लिंक मिलेगा आपको एम्बर स्टूडेंट का तो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द लिंक एंड उसके बाद आप ये पेज पे डायरेक्ट हो जाओगे जहाँ पे आपको सिंपली अपना नेम ई मेल फोन नंबर ऑब्वियसली जो व्हाट्सएप चलता है आपका एड यूनिवर्सिटी का नेम विद लोकेशन और जो भी सिटी में आप फाइंड करना चाहते हो एंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द इंक्वायरी एंड एम्बर्स की टीम आपसे बात करेगी वो आपके बजट के अकॉर्डिंग आपको काफ़ी सारे ऑप्शन दे देंगी एंड यू आर गुड टू गो यू जस्ट नीड टू सिलेक्ट नैरो डाउन योर ऑप्शन नो ऑल द डिटेल्स एंड जो भी क्वेश्चन हो वो आप टीम से कर सकते हैं इट इज़ रियली ईजी एंड सेफ तो या इन्जॉय द इंटरव्यू नाउ एंड बुक योर अकोमोडेशन टूडे बिकॉज सीट्स आर रनिंग आउट एंड स्टूडेंट्स का काफ़ी हाई ट्रैफिक है इस पर तो मेक श्योर जैन टेक के लिए आप जल्दी से जल्दी अपने अकोमोडेशन बुक कर लो Enjoy the interview now. Bye. Her own dairy farm and uh, earn approximately six lakhs. So with the combined sponsoring of my parents and my husband, I will uh, give my funds and the expenses in UK. Okay. Well, see, now I'm turning this interview into an informal conversation. Yes, ma'am. You might need to pen it. I'm sorry, ma'am, due to network yeah. issue. I'm sorry, really, really very sorry. Higher studies. Actually, there are some benefits of UK study, so I choose it. The first reason UK is also renowned for a MBA courses, and uh, it's make an appearance in the top 100 uh, schools. And uh, if I take us, uh, if I uh, do my course in the UK, my degree will be highly recognized and respected around the world. And uh, I can also do work in any multinational company. and uh, also apart from this uk is a multicultural country where people come from a different background so uh, i can interact with them and enhance my communication skills also over there and uh, it will also improve my personality hands on my career too apart from this uh, uk has a multi uh, uk has a uh, own quality assurance agencies which uh, uh, which is a part of the public and private bodies and it regularly edits university for its higher education so i think the money and the time that i will spend on my study will uh, fruitful for me over there and uh, also uh, my uh, so these are the basic uh, reasons so that is why i am uh, choosing uk what aspect of this program made you choose it actually currently i'm working as a sales executive and uh, i'm working in this company from last 3 years and uh, i'm working over there i come to know about that how to deals with the customers how to convince them and uh, how i can uh, communicate with them over there and uh, but uh, i did that uh, i'm doing this work at a local level and uh, further i want to grow and uh, in that time i earn like uh, my interest in the business field 
so i want to grow further so that is why i make my mind that uh, i do mba in leadership which will equip me with the skills and knowledge that exactly i want because uh, after having this degree i will gain experience and knowledge uh, that will uh, that will helpful for me to lead any type of business and uh, i will also identify different sources of mm, mom hello hello different yes sources, yes i'm listening uh, different sources of identifications and uh, uh, also this course uh, will uh, i will learn that how i can uh, communicate with others how i can convince uh, how i can influence people and uh, so these type of reasons which made me that uh, this is a perfect plan to do a mba in leadership and i know that in a business area challenges can arise at any time so to be a good leader i need to handle those challenges with my intelligence experience and uh, with my strategy that i will learn from this mba leadership and uh, it will uh, uh, i will learn that how to handle a business in a better way over there and uh, also i will learn a critical thinking which will equip me that uh, uh, how i can take a quick and after decision for my business uh, your answer is fine but nobody has this much time to listen to such a big answer okay, when you are asked what aspect of this program made you choose it did you simply talk about like you talk about your education yes, your working sir. experience okay. and uh, just talk about modules here that i will study this module and this will help me in my future okay. yes ma'am did you get your offer letter uh definitely i received my offer letter was it conditional or unconditional it's a unconditional so, uh, is it signed no ma'am it it's not signed give me the website of the university the main website of my university is the www.uws.ac.uk and my london campus website is the www.uwslondon.ac.uk which universities did you research before applying in uws uh, to select an appropriate university was not easy task for me and uh, i consider uh, some two other universities apart from the uws london campus and uh, it's a bath spa university and the university of law when i consider the uh, employability rate of these universities i check that uh, uh, the employability rate of uh, university of the bath spa is uh, uh, approximately uh, 91% and uh, in the university of law is 94% but in my university it's a 97% which ensure me that the students who have taken degree from uh, this university uh, their chances of employment is quite high and uh, moreover i also check the satisfaction rate of these universities and again i check that my university that university of the west of scotland is on the top twice and the uh, students are really satisfied from the education and the teaching facilities of this university and uh, also the fee structure really matters for me and uh, it's a re- uh, really quite reasonable for me in the university of the west of scotland uh, it's a uh, 14500 and in another uh, two universities uh, it's a uh, too much for me so um, these are the reasons that that's why i choose university of the west of scotland <coughs> So you should know the names of at least seven universities. Oh yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, because you are spending so much money and you cannot just uh, research about two universities. And employability rate and fee structure should not be the only two reasons you chose UWS. Okay, ma'am. Also the modules that I checked. Yes. Yeah. And in Here I ask you about the other universities. You should know the names of seven universities, from which two should be from London, and the other can be from India, America, or Canada, Australia, wherever you want. Okay. You should know the name of the university, the website address, degree duration, modules, dissertation ranking, employment rate, fee structure. Yes, ma'am. Can you give me the names of the modules you are going to study? definitely um, firstly i will learn three core module that will be of 30 credits the first one is a leading and managing business and second one is a creating business advantages 
and the third is a uh, professional uh, management skills and the another two modules that will be of the 15th grade it's the uh, it's a uh, emerging leadership and development and uh, digital marketing strategy so these are the and at the uh, last there will be a dissertation stage apart from modules what made you choose uws sorry ma'am can you repeat it apart from modules yes ma'am what made you choose uws there are some uh, other reasons that is why i chose university of the west of scotland uh, it's a uh, um, the this university is providing me a uh, optional module which will uh, which will give me a priority to two subjects according to my interest and the uh, university of the west of scotland uh, apart from modules okay it's a providing a lot of academic and non academic facilities to students in academic facilities uh, it provide a uh, like uh, business visits guest lectures uh, i think uh, this will be a helpful for me because uh, uh, in a business visit i can enhance my knowledge about the business field while interacting with them and also i can uh, um, enhance my ideas from a guest speakers who share their experience from the real world and uh, in a non academic facilities it provide a uh, uh, sports uh, gymnasium and uh, um, other facilities and uh, i think uh, this university is not only focus on the academic portion but also in the uh, overall development of the students and uh, uh, apart from this uh, university of the west of scotland has a protective and dynamic student associations which proves me that uh, if i have uh, any kind of problem over there then they will uh, give me a help over there so i think uh, i i do not feel alone over there and uh, it is a best way to make a uh, new friends and uh, meet uh, new people over there and uh, so these are the reasons just make it short okay, the facilities it provides 24 hour library okay. you can borrow a laptop if you forget your laptop at home the university will lend you a laptop there is cafeteria there are sports and cultural activities collaborative learning student teacher interaction okay, talk shows yes ma'am okay how did you apply for the program firstly i researched about my program from the uh, you, uh, from the web page i took the help of the web page that is uh, www.ukuniguide.co.uk and uh, then i uh, then i uh, shortlisted my course that is a uh, mba in leadership and uh, after that uh, i found, i found out the best consultant for me that is a uh, bces and uh, then i um, then i uh, then i um, g- uh, collect my offer letter and now i am um, for a cas interview which institute did you reject the research in india and why not india uh, i did not uh, consider uh, universities in india because my mindset that was clear that uh, this is a time of my masters and i want to take a international exposure so that's why i did not consider any university in india and the another reason to uh, do not choose to india the uh, i know that the india there are a good institutions in india and uh, i can take a uh, uh, admission in uh, in here but uh, the university to take a uh, admission in a good university i need to clear a gmat exam that is a entry uh, examination and uh, if i take a admission in the universities then i need to prepare 6 month in advance so it means uh, uh, and after that i'm not sure that i will be selected so i think uk is the best option for me because without any compromising with study and i can reach on my destination as soon as possible within one years and uh, apart from this uh, and the uh, uk is uh, mostly focus on the uh, like practical portions of the students and uh, i can also enhance my learning skills while interacting with the with the person who have a different knowledge and from a different background and uh, so these are the reasons that's why i choose uk instead of india what about 
accommodation have you decided where you going to stay uh, definitely i have shortlisted two accommodations for my stay in uk and the first one is a cooper court that is located in the heart of the london and within uh, 25 minutes walking distance from my university and uh, it provide all the facilities like wifi laundry and uh, all the bills and i need to pay 225 pounds for this accommodation and the another one is a uh, iq velvet court that is located in the uh, district of the hoxton and shoreditch and uh, i need to pay 300 pound pounds per week for this accommodation and it provide all the facilities as provided in the first accommodation how will this course help you in your career what are your future plans Uh, this course really helpful for me to progress my career because uh, um, this course will helpful for me to reach on my destination as i want to grow in a f- further in a sales line so um, the skills knowledge and experience that i will attain from this uh, course will give me edge on other student and i will be a preferable candidate for to work in any multinational company and uh, my future goals are that uh, i want to work as a sales manager and uh, so um, so these are the uh, reasons that uh, will helpful for me and this course will helpful for me what is the dissertation dissertation will be the last stage of my course and it is a important stage in this stage uh, i will make a thesis and report some on a some particular topics and uh, this dissertation stage will finalize my specialization and uh, i need to uh, approximately 10 to 15000 words in it and uh, 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 and uh, also this uh, will very helpful for stage for me and uh, it contains a 60 credits also what are the different assessment methods that will be used to grade you there are some different assessment methods like the uh, portfolios presentations all uh, all presentations written reports case work case studies and so these are the methods and dissertation also uh, yes ma'am dissertation what is the structure of learning at uws uh, the method of the learning uh, sorry ma'am what is the structure of learning at uws Uh, the schedule learning is a sixty percent, and the independent learning it is. Structure it is, of learning. What is the structure of learning at UWS? Um, structure. Oh, I didn't catch your point, ma'am. Sorry. You didn't understand my question. No, ma'am. <coughs> learning structure UWS me kya hai? How do you learn? What is the structure? कैसे पढ़ाई करते हो आप? Like कैसे पढ़ाई करोगे? Um, one to one interactions like ऐसे oh. and uh, like uh, there be sixteen percent sixteen percent the teacher will uh, help you and eighty four percent you are going to study by yourself. Okay, ma'am. Like assessment. criteria not assessment criteria structure ye learning ka wahi hai that is the way of teaching 16% work the teacher will do for you and 84% is the work and the study you are going to do yourself okay ma'am of assessments dissertation and everything that is the structure of learning okay ma'am How many campuses UWS operates? Yeah, it has a five campus: Ayr, Dumfries, Lanarkshire, London, and also Paisley campus. Do your parents file income tax returns as proof of income? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Will you be able to provide the proof? Definitely, I will provide it. Do you plan to work part time in UK? No, I have not any intentions to work as a part time over there because my main intentions and my focus will be on my studies only, and I want to gain a international exposure over there. And my husband and my family really very supportive, and they will pay my funds over there. So I do not think that I have a need of the work over there. Do you know 
definitely um, the they allowed to 20 hours uh, 20 hours per week when the university is functional yes ma'am okay and invocation invocations it allowed to 24 hours 40 hours <coughs> 20 hours okay 40 40 hours yes ma'am university i uh, researched by myself to uh, to um, to um, for my course but uh, i have a uh, folk from my agent to proceed my profile so you said no i didn't take help you did take help so just say i was not very confident about applying okay. so i took guidance and help from my consultant consultant okay, okay. okay ma'am Have you ever applied for UK visa before? Uh, no, I did not apply for UK visa before. Any any other country? Not, no ma'am. Any users? No ma'am. So, Baljeet Kaur, that's it. Your interview went pretty well. I am done with my question. Thank okay. you for joining. Thank you, ma'am. We will start with something for your pass. All the best. Thank you, ma'am.